Hey friends, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you like this makeup look, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and put the post notifications on because I will be posting a lot more. Sorry that I've been gone for a while. I've just had a lot to do, but I'm really going to try and stay more consistent. If you guys like these makeup videos, then please let me know and I'll do more. Um, but today I went ahead and did this blue eye. Everything that I have on my face is listed in the description bar down below if you're wanting to get anything. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Alright, so I'm going to start by putting sunscreen on because that is extremely important. I do 110 in the Neutrogena face shield. It's really good. For primer, I'm using the e.l.f. Putty Primer. It's honestly one of my favorites. It's really good for me because I get pretty oily throughout the day, so it helps um, when I'm at work. Next, I'm going to be primed my eyes with the Jeffree Star Concealer. Because it's really light, I usually use it when I'm going to do a brighter eye look. It's a pretty good base for me. Then I'm using my Tried and Trudy Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. This stuff is to die for. I really enjoy this setting powder. It's really good. lasts all day and usually my eyelids are pretty oily and they'll always crease. But whenever I set my eyes with this setting powder, it never creases. Next, I'm going to be using that light brown shade in the James Charles palette. As you can see, I'm really just going over basically the shape of my eye. I have more almond eyes, so I like to accentuate that and keep my eye shape because I really do like it. It's more cat eye looking, I guess. Um, so I enjoyed the shape of my eye. So I just go ahead and follow that and I'm just putting this above my crease to give me a little more dimension before I lay down any blue shades that I'm gonna do later on. Next, I'm going to be grabbing this darker blue. This really is just to give the rest of it more dimension because we're really focusing on that icy blue in the palette. But this darker blue just kind of gives it a little fade at the end so it doesn't look like I just put on one solid color. Honestly, this would look really good with a red and some white for 4th of July. I should have done a 4th of July look, but anyways. I'm just going ahead and putting that underneath that brown so that it's a nice gradient when I put that light blue on next. Oh my gosh, look how pigmented that blue is. It's so icy nice. It looks like a blue sky. It's so pretty. So whenever I do a blue eyeshadow look, I love to reach for this blue in the James Charles palette. It's one of my favorite colors in this one. I think this blue looks really good on any type of skin color as well. Honestly, if you've never tried out blue eyeshadow, go for it because it is so cute, especially in the summer. I love it. I love blue. Next, I'm putting this more icy blue in the sun. I just didn't get popping just give it again some more contouring and dimension so that it doesn't look like just one flat blue eyeshadow look. Next I'm using my Tint Idol. I don't know if I'm saying that right but it's my Lancome foundation. I'm in 320 Bisque Warm. I really enjoy this foundation. It looks really good. Especially if you're going to work or you have school all day. It lasts. It claims to be 24 hours. I've never tried it but they're all to each their own. Next, I'm using the Liquid Cover Pacifica Concealer and then my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I like to put the Maybelline more towards the inner corner and then the Pacifica more towards the end because it more matches my skin color, whereas the Fit Me Concealer kind of brightens, so I focus it more on the inner corner. These are really great drugstore concealers, by the way. Then my Derma Blend once again, just to go ahead and set that because we don't want any creasing for this look. 
to bronze, I enjoy using the butter bronzer. Honestly, I didn't have this for the longest time and I'm real upset that I didn't get it sooner because it's really good, especially for the price and it smells like a tropical vacation. Next, I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Fit Me Loose Matte Setting Powder. And then I love this Cover Effects blush. This was quite an investment for me. I really thought about it for a long time if I should get it or not, but let me tell you, this blush really lasts all day, and I think it looks so good. It makes me look sun-kissed. Then I'm using the LA Girl Volumizing Mascara just to coat my lashes before I put on my falsies. So I just put a very light coat on. And then I'm using my Cocoa Lashes in 9 to 5. Those lashes are actually really nice. Then my LA Girl lip liner in sugar and spice just to line my lips I don't typically wear false eyelashes I just thought that this look would look good with it now I'm using my KKW lipstick in 2.5 nude and you already know I had to hit it with the gloss glossy lips are the best I love it I'm using my Kylie lip gloss for that and there you have it. That's the whole look. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope it was easy to follow. And if you guys have any requests, you want any specific looks, specific colors, I'm down to do it. Until next time, I'll see you guys.